Friends, as we gather for worship this week and as we continue our series of questions and conversations, we are asking the question, where does it hurt? And that is a really difficult question to ask and to answer, especially in community. And so we are trying to do everything that we can this week to hold space for all the ways that any of our community members might interact with this question, with the stories that we hear in worship, with the stories that we hear from scripture and in our homily. And so we understand that this might be a week where people might get emotional It might be a week where people tend to get a little more reserved and don't necessarily want to share right off the bat. So we're going to spend time together in silent contemplation. We're going to allow for people to write their thoughts and stories out and choose to share them with us or not. We're going to have space for people to put their stories in a sacred place anonymously, if that's what they feel like they want to do. And we're also going to have members of our pastoral care team available to talk one-on-one with people in our congregation this week if they don't feel comfortable sharing their story of hurt with the whole congregation or even with their small group at their meal table. We hope that we have cultivated a community of trust here at Riviera. And we hope that you will trust us enough to share your stories with us, all of the beautiful and all of the sorrowful. And we hope that you will join us for worship this week, online or in person. However you choose to engage with us this Sunday, know that you are surrounded by God's love. Know that you are seen and known and loved, not only by God, but that you are worthy of being seen and known and loved by your community as well. No matter who you are, no matter where you've been, no matter what you have lived through. May God surround you with love and peace this week. We'll see you soon.